Dream beyond your circumstances. Dream beyond the box that they have put you in, what you have put yourself in. I want to give you an example of how we put people in their boxes, especially me. This here is my grandmother. Isn't she cute? This is my grandmother? Yeah? OK. I'm going to give you a little quick example here. Grandma came to me a couple of years ago. Grandma's 79, right? And grandma came to me, and she said, Tree, grandma has a dream that she wants to be a rapper. Tree, I want to be a rapper. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest with you. I put grandma in a box because I thought that grandma should be doing grandma things like baking, <laughs> crochet, sewing, right? Watching soaps. So that was the box I put her in. And I was kind of very dismissive of my grandma. I was like, Gran, come on, man. Your time has passed. But grandma did not listen to me, thank God, right? Grandma went into the studio. That's grandma in the studio. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Who here is too old, right? Nobody, right? Grandma went into the studio and cut her CD. She then went and recorded a music video, put it on YouTube, and Grandma's career took off, right? <laughs> I kid you not. Grandma's music got played in Jamaica, England, over here. She was doing interviews. She won an arts award. She even appeared on the Trisha show, which is in England, which is the equivalent to the Oprah Winfrey show, right? Grandma did all of that. And Grandma was proud. She was like, Trey, I'm living my dream. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was proud of her, too. And I was like, gosh, look at Grandma. And this year, my grandmother, she got diagnosed with stomach cancer. And anybody here who knows the effects of this, right, that she was taking the treatment, and it was just reducing her to nothing. She was sick all of the time and ill and just not even remotely the woman who she used to be. And she refused treatment. And she said, no, I'm not taking it anymore. And all of us were like, come on, Grandma, come on, you got to. You got to prolong your life. And she said, I'm done. She said, I'm finished, Trey. She said, you know why? because I have already lived my dream. I've done everything with my life that I wanted to do. And I thought, wow, how many of us here, if we knew that we were facing our last days, last hours, last moment, how many of us could say, I'm done, I'm finished. I've done everything with my life that I was supposed to do. How many of us, right? So I say, the world said to me, Trey Anthony, you, you're black, you're queer, you're working class, you're not cute enough, you're not pretty, you're not any of that. And they tried to put me in this box. And I said, hey, world, you ain't ready for me. <laughs> you ain't ready. I'm so much bigger than this box you have put me in. And so I say to you right now, your call to action should be to come out of your box. Thank you.